Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We now have our Counter-Strike action lined up for you here. We have the St. Clair College Academy Counter-Strike team versus JMU Dukes, and they're going to be playing off a best of three. The first map we're going to be here on tonight, I believe, is uh, Anubis. It's that desert map, but we're going to be getting to the action right away. Yeah, and we're going to be getting right into it. Our Saints had a great regular season, 5-2, and two, I believe, as you said to me earlier. So they're looking to start off their playoffs, playoff run very, very hard and you know winning winning some early pistol rounds would be the way to go for them 100% uh, I was just talking to uh, AP resident Nexus staff of the year award winner and uh, counter-strike extraordinaire and he was telling me that the Saints have been practicing a lot and they're very comfortable honestly on all maps so they're gonna be trying a lot of things here today uh, potentially trying to catch James Madison University slipping up a little bit of an unexpected matchup on these maps I think that might be why we're starting off on a little bit more of an unconventional map as we're getting into the action here here. We're going to see a good push coming out from James Madison, taking out JBH, but Miggy's going to be able to find one. The exchange going off in the corner there. They're going to take down Miggy. It's going to be a little bit of an uneven matchup for the Saints, but they're going to be able to try to recover something here. The bomb is going to get planted, but Petro, Andy, and I believe that might be Ryer. The rest of the Saints are still trying to be pushing up here. Adept holding down this pillar, but ooh, a huge shot. Basically, Andy's out of this one. He's got all the armor in the world, but no HP. Remarkable to how that works. But Petro going to find a headshot, but two more Saints are going to fall just petrol remaining no damage coming out from just yet but they're gonna find something here gonna go down adept finding a clean headshot to take out the round and that is gonna be the first round going with james madison university it's gonna be a little bit of a struggle for the saints to win this one if possible at all yeah great start for james madison university they get into the bomb site they get the plant down they find the trades and eventually just have the sharper aim so great stuff for them they're gonna be taking that pistol round and that's gonna let them buy up a few heavier machinery here as the Saints are going to have to stick with the pistols now. Let's see if James Madison can convert the second round as they should. It looks like uh, Saints are five-man stacking on that B side, whereas James Madison choosing to take this one a little bit more slowly. We're going to see Petro getting up to a nice little boost here, but nobody is going to be peeking that corner just yet. As James Madison University this time going to take a lot more time to get into the round. Yeah, the Deagles in hand. The Saints are going to be trying to find any pickoffs they can to try to recover, or at least do economic damage over to James Madison University taking after that last round. Usually you lose your first one, you lose the second one. So it's not going to be much of a surprise to see that two Saints immediately going to be falling down. In fact, that's four now, but Petro's going to find one. Almost finds two through that collat shot. One more would have done it for him, but they're going to take him down before he's going to be able to find an opportunity to go for it. James Madison University taking round two. As expected, James Madison going to be taking that round. It took minimal damage, only one of their members falling, so they're going to look to bonus here on this third round. But now Saints are should be able to buy up full... Uh, full loadouts here should be able to have uh, those weapons online adept in the first few rounds he has six kills already for james Madison university that might be their player to look out for could be dangerous it looks like james Madison gonna make their way over to the a side for the first time this game smoke's gonna come out all across mid here let's see who's gonna be able to find the entry frag here small red looks like he's gonna make up a little bit of room here it's gonna be adept looking for some shots through that smoke but not gonna be too able to find anything as nobody from the Saints is sitting back there. You can see Mix here throwing down these smokes, holding down this position, making sure nobody can walk in. And James Madison in his third round playing it very, very slowly. This is very favorable for the Saints. Um, time is ticking down, and James Madison hasn't really been able to find any ground to cover. They pushed up basically straight into mid. They have two in a little bit of a corner there, but they don't really have a foothold on any specific point. It's going to take a, just a YOLO push, basically, like the one they're going for right now. A flash is really all that's going to be able to help them out here. But another smoke coming up. From the Saints just to turn the push a little bit more. Uh, you know, the smokes, especially here on this map, I believe, is very favorable for defense because there's so many twists and turns and corridors that make it so scary to make any pushes go through. So adding smokes into the mix just makes it all this more scary. But Molotov's gonna split up JBH just a little bit from his teammate over there. But James Madison University mounting for a push, and they're gonna find their way in immediately. No one's gonna be able to find a frag over on the Saints, and James Madison is gonna be able to take down three Saints with quick succession. Petro blinded and standing in front of a blazing inferno there's not much you can do to take back this point but with the bomb taking something must be done 
Yeah, James Madison just finding those entry picks, using their men advantage perfectly, and just swinging the corners with multiple members makes it so hard on the Saints. It looks like one frag's gonna go up all the way into the spawn here, but will find a Petro. Now it's gonna be a 5v1 for Rix here. Maybe he can try and just survive with his life here, but the push is coming through from James Madison University. Util used as well. Let's see if Rix can find a couple of kills to maybe get some economy back to the oh, way of the Saints, but he won't find any shots there, and now he knows he has to run for his life. We'll throw out a flash there. Should be able to make it out alive, but James Madison are really hunting him. A few more seconds here, maybe to find him. Rick's gonna look for the shots there, won't find it. Will survive Gets with the weapon, but nonetheless, 3-0 lead for James Madison. They're able to capitalize there in that third round, as now they have got off to a red-hot start here on this map. Yet again, Saints can be forced up to save here. James Madison look to push the advantage. One million percent. Uh, just a quick observation I noticed with, uh, with I think that was Rai CS holding that M4, the Night Terror. I think that is probably the most common skin I've ever seen in the game because I have that skin. <laughs> Two of my friends have it. We were playing a game. We saw one of our teammates had us. We had four CTs holding the Night Terror M4. It was incredible. It's a great skin, but not a great defensive hold oh from God. the Saints so far as three of them all going down. They're not able to find these critical holes as James Madison's able to find their way in every single time a quick shot through the smoke uh, he doesn't realize how close he was there just maybe even one extra shot would have found his mark he's gonna go down as he turns his back towards that smoke cloud but small red's gonna take down the last saint remaining after he gets a click on the head of one of james madison so they're gonna lose one but they're gonna take the round now we're 0 4 going to round five i don't know how the saints are gonna recover so far i mean see uh, going you know you have a lot of time to get things back on track mm. you know you lost four now you're gonna have the full buys now now's the round you really need to bounce back if James Madison takes this one. They're going to be heavy favorites to just run away with this first map. But Saints need to slow them down here. James Madison sitting on so much money. We'll have buys for the next few rounds here. But on this attack, they've been flawless so far. Many of these rounds, Saints are getting one, maybe two kills if they get lucky at most. But oh, oh! the up. And it's going to look for a shot there. Definitely a shot. Should have hit, but not going to find their through the smoke as well as James Madison able to get away with some dangerous positioning there. And are going to be able to maintain the 5v5 fight. So, it's such close calls. Con constantly finding these close calls in these corridors and in these smokes. Like, if only he knew how close he was there. God, it's so painful, but sometimes things like that happen. Their play almost goes their way, but it's not going to completely work for them. But Miggy, he's getting jiggy, coming around the corner, but he's going to get taken down. One frag, taking down Miggy, flashing his way through. Kind of accidentally flashes himself a little bit there, pre-firing a little bit just to be safe. And uh, Saints are going to have to do a little bit more work to get this hold successful. Going to be holding down this lineup with the op, making sure that Adept's not going to be able to escape. JBH holding the other end there, and nice. JBH is going to find the headshot. Going to be taking this one. Hopefully, the Saints are able to recover here, get their feet dug in, and uh, let's see. Oh no, Rai is eventually. Gonna... Actually, no, Rai finds Small Red. My mistake there. It's been used to the Saints going down so often, kind of falling into a pattern there, assuming the worst, but they're going to be able to take this round, hopefully, with just 30 seconds remaining. Two, oh, three C, uh, T's remaining, but JBH is going to take down one. Now it's just 2v4. It's going to be quite the accomplishment if they're going to be able to overcome this, but with his back oh, turned, timing. now he's looking the right oh. way, but unscopes at the worst possible moment. Nice he's going to find the plant, but the Saints are going to be making their way back over. It's a 2v2 all of a sudden, and this really could go James Madison University way again another such a close call it's so unfortunate again they have no way of knowing that if they just clicked one more time they would have found the kill but obviously we have the benefit of foresight and wall hacks so oh and turning the corner not looking the right way but rye just so close just any Thing around that corner, throwing oh. down the smoke, but if he has a little bit more patience, he's gonna throw out the molly. That's what he's looking for here. It's getting the defuse. What? Are they gonna be able to find him? There it, is. there it is. He's gonna get the defuse. Might go down for it, but more importantly, that's a round in the Saints' favor. And if he can survive with the gun in hand too, that would be beautiful. And yes, Siri, I do like. <laughs> that was an incredible round from the Saints. Finally, they get one on the board. It was looking a bit rough. They had the 4v2, but then we're getting picked off left and right. Then in the 1v2, Rai was able to find one. 
one and just goes for the defuse. Prozone fake finds down there and Beautiful. finally puts Saints on the board. Still going to be a full buy coming up from James Madison University. I don't know if the Saints are able to afford a such luxury with dropping so many members yet again, but let's see how this round's going to play. Look out. at the util coming up from Bucket there. He's fully <laughs> stacked out. He's got a grenade. Every color of the rainbow there under his belt. But oh man, Petro. DT Shocker going out. Rai finding the follow up kill. The Saints getting two good clean pickoffs to start off this round, and already the momentum is going their way. It's looking favorable for them. It's going to be very hard for James Madison to be able to find a comfortable push. His numbers really is what makes these pushes comfortable on this map. If you're going with one or two guys, it feels damn near impossible considering all the different places you can be looking at. But Bucket, with just at least enough support, can be able to find the kill onto Rai with small spread on the assist. And he's going to take down Bucket, though, and Adept's going to find Andy in return. It's just going to be Petra on the point, but he hears the plant. He's going to be shooting through the smoke, but he's not going to see him in time. Nades are coming out. Another smoke's going to go and clear off that corridor. He's going to have to find a different route if he wants to get out there uh, conceptually. But JBH is going to find two, and he's going to find his way into the point. He's going to get the defuse. A very clean recovery for the Saints as James Madison shoots Chicken. first. Sorry. That was, that was unnecessary. Uncalled for, my friend. But they're going to be able to take their second round now. Good round there from St. Clair yet again. James Madison tried to play down quick, get on the site quick, get the plant down, get out and play the post plant. But yet again, the Saints playing the post plant just a little bit better. We're going to see an AWP picked up yet again for Ants here. So let's see if you can find anything with that AWP. They're definitely going to be an important uh, part if they can get this comeback going. Finding those early picks onto James Madison could be everything. I'm surprised James Madison are going more towards that B site. That's where they found so much success in those, few, few, uh, those first few rounds. They're trying to mix up their strategy a little bit, maybe when they don't really need to, but the utility is going to come out. Let's see where this round has a nice little smoke there to make sure nobody can get through. And, you know, the more time that gets off the clock, the better for the defense. Looking for any traces of human life here. It's moments like this, you wish you had thermal attachments like you do in Call of Duty, but Mickey just barely evading the flash, whether he knew it or not. He's going to throw out that molly as he sees the feet making their way into that corridor, and now they're going to have to make their way out. One entrance blocked off by the Saints and now James Madison University scrambling to find another route in but Mickey's gonna find a wall bang headshot not sure how much of a wall bang that one was but still impressive nonetheless Andy whether or not he knows adepts behind that wall he's gonna be holding it for dear life as this is gonna be a very valuable pickoff just preventing a an taking another life pretty easily there's not really anything adept could do to kind of turn things around in favor but the flash is gonna come out flashing his teammate there absolutely tragic and maybe uh yeah that would have been the freest kill of all time showing what flashbangs are really all about but wasn't looking away. Uh, oh, Andy just uh, dropped his guard for a little bit there. It's going to allow Adept to get a kill, but Petra's going to take him down eventually. Bucket is going to be able to spray down JBH. Going to have some reinforcements moving their way over to B site. 3v3, all even, all square, but it's still going to be hard one way or the other. Petra's going to take down one, making it all the harder for James Madison University, but the op shot's not going to go their way. Petro's the last man standing for the Saints. Can he find... Oh, no, never mind. Rise behind him, even surprising them. Surprising me as well, but he's He's gonna go down eventually. Petro with the follow-up kill, taking three to four. Beautiful play by the Saints. 19 HP, like you said, Theo. Can you get closer than that? I mean, that was very close. If that player from James Madison didn't swap weapons and just shot one more bullet out of that AK, that could have been a completely <laughs> different round. But Saints very gladly will take that round. A great defense from them all of them on that B site. You know, Petro and Rai, those last two remain remaining members were able to clutch that one up yet again it seems like in the more tense clutch scenario saints have the upper hand but james madison when they hit hard when they hit early and they just get the early advantage that's when they've been at their strongest so if saints can get down to these 1v1s 2v2s they have a great great chance in this map absolutely and it's, I feel like uh, I feel like with the way this is going so far for the Saints, like we saw, they were struggling really hard in those earlier maps. I think they might have just been playing a little bit too. Honestly, I feel like they just weren't warmed up. Like they weren't hitting their marks. Even watching them get on the stage, it's all delays, a little bit of a couple. Maybe they were a little stressed. But as things kind of worked their way through, they found their footing. Not going to be able to find it there. But not going to be able to find it there either. JBH and Mickey going to be going down. Molly's coming through. At least he saw where it was coming from. So that's to be a clean and quick kill for Petro. Coming around through, he's going to find one. 
one frag, but not able to take him down. One HP surviving with there. The rest of the states are coming through the corner there, but Rai, yes, I think he's going to be in a confrontation with Small Rad. Not going to be able to find his way through, but Rai now in mid, and it's just going to be a 2v4. I don't think they're going to be pushing for this one. I think they just want to save. They might be a little bit low on the money side of things, so this could be the play for them. See if they can find anybody escaping the explosion here. Yeah, it looks like Saints are going to choose not to go back and recontest the 2v4. James Madison, yet again, they just hit oh, the side nice. quick. Land's going to find a 1 on 2 buckets, uh, bucket there, but still the round's going to go over towards uh, James Madison. And as I said, if they go very quickly onto that side and they use their numbers, find those entry picks, that's been their bread and butter here. All five rounds they won, it seems like, has been just dominant rounds when they get onto the site with ease, get the, uh, the plant down. At, but they already have a couple kills on top of that. So anytime Saints are able to uh, maintain uh, and withhold that initial big burst, the big push that James Madison's pushing with, and find maybe a pick or two back on the entry, that really slows James Madison down and gives Saints the advantage. Yeah, and I feel like whenever they do get those early pickoffs, the Saints are able to find it. It really does go so much smoother for them and obvious that's an obvious thing to say but i feel like the reason why is more indicative of the reason that they might have been struggling a little bit before but like i said it's they are just missing those those den entry denials like yeah. you'll have the, the t's running in and they're just not hitting their shots you know for whatever reason that may be they're just not oh, on top of it right now oh but petro proving me wrong with a beautiful flick and if i bucket 23 obviously gonna go down in the line of duty is there's too many other people that are waiting for him but with the deagle in hand oh, nice. get a little find one there trying to find oh, two God. and there he is almost finds the third just grazing the shoulder of vt gonna be able to find their way onto the point and get the plants off but with an op in hand ride with an m4 a4 oh and he finds the kill through the op just one member of james madison left can they find him to secure the defuse rye finds him that's information immediately relayed to his teammate with the flash coming out he's gonna sh get the shot off anyways but just barely misses one frag gonna take down rye and with an op in hand andy you've been training for these you've done all these 1v1s all these games your life is coming down to this one but with barely a nip Four of HP. hp 4 Gonna survive, gonna take the round for James Madison. And that's the first time James Madison have really had someone clutch up in a 1v1 or 1v2 scenario there. A great play there from them Saints. Almost getting it, 4 HP as you said. A nice try there from Andy with the Operator. Tried to whip out the pistol but just could not find it. And that's an important round going with James Madison. That was a bit of a save round for the Saints as well. You saw them have a couple deagles and those early shots really they, they kind of pushed the favor in their advantage. But now James Madison yet again gonna go for this default-like push. Not gonna go towards that bomb site. Maybe trying to get some space towards the middle as one frag. He's gonna find his first frag onto Andy again up in the mid. Let's see how the attack is going to fall through for James Madison now. James Madison, again, there. It's, it just feels like a, little, a chessboard. All the pawns are lined up right in front of each other. You just got to find a place to get your knight in behind and just cause some damage. But going to get caught up by a bishop there as now the rook oh and the queen are going to go down. Just the king remaining. And this might be a checkmate situation oh because Petro's standing in a lake of fire. And around the corner is a beautiful queen taking him down. Bucket going to be getting the checkmate for the team, taking it 3-7 to seven now for James. Another practically flawless round for James Madison didn't face too much of a challenge there and speaking of challenges it's going to be hard for Saints to win this next round they're going to be on full saves again just having those deagles I think James Madison might again just put it on the W button and just get into those sites, get the plant down yeah. and use those AKs to their advantage. Like I said, the Saints are just, are just not finding those entry denials and I feel like if James Madison can exploit that, obviously it's a hard thing to rely on. Like, it, it feels like a little bit of a YOLO play, yeah. but if it's working, you gotta just lean into it, no, until it stops working. You have a lot of rounds to work with, not necessarily to throw away, but you can do so comfortably. And again, the Saints are just not able to find these entry denials. The Deagle, you know, obviously a situation like that is favoring the ones with the automatic AKs, but I feel like they really could have gotten at least a couple of things here and there, but the and Saints just... One. And he found one. And he got his. Hey, uh, you know, his hands are up. My hands are, <laughs> hey, man, I'm doing, I got my, uh, I'm earning my scholarship. <laughs> uh, but the bomb is going to go down, and the Saints are going to be able to just uh, see if they can find any pickoffs. No, they're in fact kind of revealing his position there. JB is going to fall. Uh, Andy, yeah, I'm just going to save this one up. But yeah, I feel like the Saints, like, like I said, you know, pointing out a little bit what I feel is obvious, they're just not getting entry denials, but 
like I said, they're fighting success and they're fighting their footing so far. I feel like as soon as they kind of get comfortable and get their head in the game, this this game will go a lot easier for them because I feel like they're kind of beating out James Madison in every other aspect. So yeah, far. I Util mean, usage is, is I'd just love well. to see just like a little bit more utility maybe from Saints just put in those like big chokes because it seems like James Madison aren't afraid to put three or four players peeking the same angle at the same time. And yeah. I feel like if Saints can just have a bit of dis disruption to that plan, throw in a Molotov, throw in a nade, throw in a flash, throw in something yeah, and make sure James Madison can just walk into the site and have all their weapons ready to shoot at whoever swings because then they'll have the advantage. So it's going to be last round of the half here. James, James Madison getting off to a very, very strong start on the attack here. And as you said, this map, a bit more maybe defensive favored. So a great start for them. But Saints going to try and get this fourth round back and get back in the w winning way of things. Yeah, I feel like... Uh, like you said, it was util usage. And in fact, seeing a little bit of his map right now, I feel like the same, the same smokes off at the same uh, points of the map, but there's not a lot of follow-up, you know? I feel like if they're able to kind of clean things up a little bit, they can get some more util that's a little bit more advantageous for their game state, like maybe some delayed smokes coming out as soon as they get a whiff of a push. Maybe they have some backups. Like, yeah, he's holding one right now. It's probably going to be how they're playing so far, but I feel like if they can put a little bit more emphasis on that to just try to alleviate some of the pressure that James Madison's been putting on them, but it's not going to matter too much as this is the last round of the half. They're going to be in James Madison's shoes going to the next one, so going to be trying to find something here. Everyone's playing slow, oh. Oh, but Andy almost finding that one, but Obviously, but so many people there. Bucket gonna be able to find Petro. He's not gonna be able to get that kill there. Ryan with the AUG. Can you find anything here? No, he's not even gonna get the opportunity to scope in, but they're gonna rush him down as he's fumbling with his grenades. He's gonna get taken out before he has a chance to throw any. While he throws the molly, it's not gonna have much of an effect though. In fact, it's gonna dissipate in a couple of seconds. Smoke's gonna come out from Small Rad just to make that push all the harder for the Saints, but Small Rad's gonna go down. Miggy is gonna go down in turn, but JBH the last one to fall. And that's the first half for James Madison University. They're just four away from taking this game. Very, very, very strong half from James Madison. It just felt like every time Saints are trying to take a one-on-one, -on -one, there's more than one James Madison University player shooting at them, and that made the game so much harder. One frag, top of the leaderboard, 17-3 and three in that first half. Absolute amazing performance from them and just putting the team on the back uh, <laughs> kills wise just getting all those picks that were needed to get into those sites but let's see how Saints decide to attack in their first round looks like they're going to be hitting up B you know, actually look they're going to look towards mid here. Let's see if they can find those early frags. Oh, one frag spots out. Everyone doesn't take the one on four challenge. Instead, backs up and makes sure he gets some support from his team. Saints looking to go very, very quickly here. Definitely playing with a bit more aggression here on the attacking side. One frag. Gonna have to be careful here. He's going to swing. Going to find one. Gets traded out as Petro and JBH going to find a couple kills of their own. Petro finds one on the flank as well as Saints are going to get the bomb down in this 4v2 situation. Should more than likely take the round. Yeah, Andy holding down here, but gonna lose the 1v1 to Small Rad, pushing around this corner. If they can try to just play a little bit patiently here, James Madison might be able to find some pickoffs, but not gonna go their way. In fact, just walking away from, from that with a lot of damage. JBH is gonna find Small Rad, Miggy is gonna find Bucket to take this first round. And I feel like the Saints, like I said, they're finding their footing, they're finding their comfort zone, and they're gonna be able to try to mount up an offensive force against James Madison University. In fact, I felt like that's what they were doing on defense. They're playing still pretty aggressively, so uh, now that they actually have a reason to play aggressively, I feel like they're gonna be able to do so a little bit more comfortably. Yeah, and I feel like if they can take down one frag very early on into the round, that could also be a recipe for success. It's I think that's often overlooked, but if there's one player on the other team that's just completely dominating, shutting, uh, shutting that player down early could be your way to victory. But we're going to get underway again. It's going to be a save round for James Madison University as Saints buy up some weapons. Uh, Galil there saw at least a couple AKs as they should be looking to win this round with relative ease. Yeah, relative ease is something you don't find very often in Nace, however. This is Rice CS going to be trying to find their way up to mid. Very similar map positioning and uh, general push plan coming up from the Saints as um, James Madison had, at least in this round, kind of mirroring their map placement. But the Saints are going to start committing more over to B side. Petro is going to find one. Oh, oh dropping from behind, but Adept is going to get taken down. Galil in hand. Petro is going to be the hero that the Saints need. One frag going to take down G 
ABH Petro is going to take that bucket, and it's going to be a lot of traded kills back and forth, but when the dust settles, it's just going to be one member left of James Madison University. With bomb being planted, not a lot of guns in his hand. I think he's just working with the Deagle here. It's only a matter of time before Riot takes him down. That's going to be another round for the Saints. Good start for the Saints. They're going to be able to win the pistol, win the next round. They do drop a couple members, but it's not the end of the world. Now everyone's going to be able to afford full buys. This can be a really important round in the second half. Can Saints keep up their great pace on the attack here and continue their momentum? Or can James Madison University finally find a stop and put their foot down, try and take this match out early? Pushing their way over. Saints looking to be favoring A. I think they might be doing... Oh, are they going to do the legendary uh, rank strat? Just going to rush A? No, they're going to chill just a little bit. Drop the bomb behind. In fact, the full delayed push. They're playing carefully, cautiously, conservatively. The three Cs is exactly what we like to see. Is uh, The pressure is mounting a little bit for the Saints. It's 9 to 5. They just need four more to tie things up. But don't forget, they're going to have another four if they want to win the series right after those four just to tie things. So they got to have a... they got to be using their fuel efficiently here. they got a long road trip ahead of them and they don't want to gas themselves out too early. Without a doubt. And they're taking this one slow. They don't. They have the bomb all the way in spawn now. As James Madison, they know they don't need to push. They're gonna try and lay back a little bit and let the Saints make a mistake. Here's gonna be a big challenge coming out from Andy. He's gonna be able to spot a one. The trade comes out from Petro. However, lives on 17 HP, but has to go back for the bomb to pick that one up. Nothing happening towards the B side just yet. Actually a depth and small red gonna find a pick onto Rai and Miggy now. It's a 2v4 for the side of the Saints and if you can recall Petro was also on 17 HP. Now it's gonna be Petro all on his low sum in the 1v4 on 17 HP. It's gonna be such a hard one to win. He will be going down to one frag there and there's the round James Madison needed to slow down the Saints. They get it as they put themselves that much closer to taking the map. Yeah, 10 to 5 now. The Saints, they have a big chasm to get across if they want to take this series and close the gap a little bit. But right now, they can't focus too much on the what ifs and the how so's. They just have to focus on the next round that's right in front of them. And right now, they don't have a lot of money to work with. I think that might be because they spent all of it already. That's, that's probably the case here. They're going to be working uh, relatively kitted out, I hope. Uh, and they're going to be trying to get some success into this next push. Andy Ooh. almost finding one. He at least gets locational information, knows where he is, might have a dead on the rest of He's going to find a kill, follow up regardless afterwards. He's going to get taken down in return though. Information is information. You get one kill, but that means they know where you are. They're going to use that information to take him out. I like that uh, M4 skin. Very nice. <laughs> and uh, never mind that, they're going to be trying to find a push over to B through mid, I think. Uh, but the Saints, again, they're in an opportunity where they can really go for either push uh, through mid or uh, taking the left into B site. Rai's going to find one to make their next decision all the easier. It looks like the Saints are going to be trying to make a push into B or at least fake it and allow an opening into A as James Madison responds to the aggression that's inevitably going to come out from B side. Yep, and it's gonna be Saints with the upper hand now, the 4v3, but they have a couple deagles, a very dangerous swing there coming out from Adept, but will find one, does get taken down by Rai, so Saints gonna have the 3v2, they're gonna be pushing in here now, Bucket's gonna find one, the plant's going down from the Saints here, and Bucket finds the second, and it's just a deagle left on Petro, the plant does go down, but James Madison, the 2v3 situation, will find the clutch up, and they're gonna put themselves at 11 rounds now, putting themselves very, very close taking this map saints desperately need to win this next round because if they don't it's going to be a rough spot for them to be in 11 to 5 scary things but dreams can come true if you believe in wishes ladies and gentlemen now's the time to start wishing the saints have their back against the wall two away from losing this first game and all they can work with right now is pistols because they don't have a lot of confidence that they're going to come out on top of this next one so they're just saving all their money for the next one where it really matters they're going to be looking to hard commit over to a i respect that i like that idea they've been playing slow they've been playing cautiously this whole time now the most is, this is this, this is the time now more than ever where you're free to just kind of go crazy and no one will blame you for it but a molly oh, a might put a dampen on that plan petro is going to get taken down as he makes it across the lake of fire and he's going to be the next one to fall but Ooh. miggy finding a very clean shot across the room but eventually he's going to fall himself rai is going to be the last one to go to and it's just one more for the saints if they can try 
pulling everything together. 4K is going to be the average gold to spend. <laughs> gold, I'm not talking about Dota. <laughs> Five, 4K is the average do uh, dollar amount that they're going to be able to work with. And uh, all of them are going to be getting AKs. And uh, everyone's going to have armor, except for one of them. He doesn't need armor. He's yeah. just going to be the resident nader and uh, maybe entry fragger. But they're going to be trying their best to see what they can work with here. I think they might even be hard committing for A as well. Maybe having JBH fake the B push. I always love doing that, at least in my games. I'm usually the guy that just goes in like, hey, guys, just go push B. I'll go rush A. <laughs> and hopefully gets the distractions going. But he's going to be making his presence known over on B side. And the Saints are going to be remaining low key over in the mid to A area. So hopefully that's going to be the distraction that they need in order to get an opening onto A. Now we have one Saint pushing up VT Shocker, just waiting for him to show his face. But Petro taking a dink. The smoke grenade is going to hit him and take one HP point of damage away from him. Not a lot to work with here. Miggy coming around that corner here. It's not the Saints Miggy. This is, or, uh, well, actually, you no, know, this is the Saints Miggy. It's a different Miggy. We have two Miggies here on the Saints lineup. One's Valorant. All right, well, it's fighting games now, but uh, one's Counter Strike. But now Andy. Okay, he's gonna get the lineup into the headshot, and that's gonna be a clean opening. The Saints are gonna use that one to get in over onto A site. They're gonna be holding the bomb in hand, cradling their opportunity, their chance for victory, taking down one more. James Madison is crumbling. It's a 4v2. Can they make this work? Bomb is gonna get planted, Theo. Can James Madison recover? Uh, it's gonna be a hard one. Beautiful flank here from JG JBH. Finds one at depth. Gonna have to pull off a 1v4 miracle to win this one for his team. I think he's gonna opt to just get out, save his gun. G and that's pretty smart, James Madison. No, they have a lot of rounds to work with. They don't wanna just give away rounds uh, for free and give away kills. Maybe if he even finds one more, could force another person to just be without a weapon for the next round from the Saints here. Let's see if he can find a pick here. I think they have no idea where he is. You can see Big Miggy looking for something. Well, has no idea that he's right around this corner. It's Mickey's gonna look for the challenge. The depth's gonna find one. Will he be able to find the second? No. A big uh, rise gonna be able to pick that one up. The Saints take their sixth of the round, but as you said, still a lot of uh, work to do. They need to win six in a round here, to, uh, six in a row here to Just push died. it to overtime. Yeah. But James Madison gonna be able to afford a full buy yet again. They're going to be running low on money, however, so they have to be uh, careful here to make sure that they don't overspend here. But St. Clair, putting, uh, put in a desperate scenario, have to win so many rounds in a row. It looks like yet again, they're going to be looking towards that A site. Vying for success here. Saints are going to be pushing their way up. Going to try again, similar strategy to the previous one, to hopefully catch James Madison off button. They're going to get on the aggressive here, pushing through their own smoke. They're going to find JBH with his pants down. They're going to take him down while he's getting, oh. trying to get them back up. And he's going to be next to Paul Petro, oh, Petro, taking down both of them in return. He's holding the souls of his brothers in his heart. He's going to avenge them as he makes his way over into mid. He's going to find a third now. Petro on a roll. He's the avenger of St. Clair College. He's not going to let these kills slide. Not easily, at least. It's a 3v2 situation. The bomb's in the backside for the Saints. And uh, it can still go anyone's way. With a minute remaining, Saints are going to have to not only get the confidence to make a push, but execute it flawlessly and oh. try to lose as few as possible. But, oh, oh right, he, right. Finds it. he does find it. That's another clean round for the Saints. Kills coming out. Petro ending it up with four, almost getting an ace here. But again, still on the match point. Saints are going to do a lot of work to try to make this one closer. But still a huge amount to climb. Yeah, it didn't look too good to start that round for the Saints. They dropped a couple early, but Petro uh, getting the hero play there, finding three on his lonesome, finding the fourth as well to win the round and close it out for the Saints as they are now 12-7. We've seen some miracles happen before. Can it happen against Saints? It'll be perfect here. It's going to be a four stack coming out from the side of James Madison onto that B side. Saints going for that default split yet again. And it's looking like a save round from James Madison. They all have the pistols. They're all stacked on top of each other. Let's see if they can find any picks very early on. But the swings come out from the Saints. Rye's going to find oh. one. Rye's going to find the second. Going to find okay. the third. Going to look for the fourth. Bucket's finally going to take him down. But that's all the Saints will need from Rye is Miggy's going to find the fourth kill of the round there for the Saints. Just one more member 
form, James Madison University is going to be one frag, their top frag. He's going to only have a pistol, so he probably won't get his chances and hopes up here in this 1v4 scenario. Gives away his location, will look for a kill there, won't be able to find it, but Saints yet again winning that round. Now have won three in a row and have kind of put themselves on track to get back in this game. They're really making it look easy so far. I don't know what they drank in between these last two. It might be Mike's special stuff from Space Jam, but they're really showing us what they're made of here. James Madison gonna go for a full buy. They have the money for it and they have the rounds advantage too, so why not? I really like their last play there where they started getting aggressive through the Saints. They called their bluff. They know usually the smoke on B. No one's waiting behind it. They just pushed through. We found JBH just sitting there kind of uh, half-heartedly holding that one. Smokes and frags are going to be going, trying to catch anyone who's trying to push their way in, as well as allowing free visibility through it. Andy's going to find his way through with support from the Saints. Flash is going to get in, and they're going to find a little bit more ground to work with now. Bomb's going to get left behind. They don't want to get too rash here. I believe uh, Miggy might be going back for it, or he could just be trying to quarter off another part of the map to make this push all the easier. Small rad behind this pillar now, reloading. JBH is keenly waiting for someone to show their face over on B-Site to make his uh, night guard duty uh, watch worthwhile here. But so far, no dice as the Saints are trying to make their way over to B. It's a matter of time before somebody lets up. We have to be careful for Adept in this power position. You can see Saints made so much space up mid, almost in the spawn <laughs> yeah. of James Madison University. But James Madison are happily giving up all that space. They're not even sending a single player to contest it. Now finally Bucket is going to go for the swing here. Does he have any idea? The Petro's right here. Yes, he does. Finds one. One frag. Finds one onto Biggie there. The Rye gets a pick, but all blue in the kill feed. Small Red and V-Shock are going to find a couple as well. Now it's a 1v4 scenario here for Rye, who's on 4 will get taken down by Adept and just like that James Madison University will be taking the first map 13 to 8. Very beautiful game in fact just one little tidbit there I saw Bucket had an 80% headshot percentage mm, yeah, usually around like 95 <laughs> yeah, that's, that's just me though uh, but a very well played game by both teams for sure. Saints really clawing their way back to try to tie everything together they, they found their footing like I said they were kind of struggling in the beginning um, and like I said they are experimenting with a lot of new maps I'm still going to say maybe they weren't too comfortable on that one. Uh, there was a little bit of hesitance coming out in a lot of those pushes and a lot of those holds, but as we're getting ready for game two, Theo, anything you're excited to see before we throw it to a break? I mean, it was a good uh, ending to the game for the Saints. They got a couple rounds back here and there, but I think you have to start off hot. James Madison started off on fire, just yeah. won those early rounds and gave themselves a cushion to work with in the later parts of the game. I think that was a really, really crucial part. I wonder if the Saints are going to be on attack or defense the next map, because if they're on attack, I want to see them play with a lot of plays, uh, pace, play, play with a lot of aggression and really put the pressure on their opponents. Absolutely. And like you said, momentum and heat plays a lot of uh, a, a huge role in your success. And maybe the desert heat kind of favored James Madison. But as we head into our next map, maybe the temperature is going to be a little bit cooler. But don't watch the weather forecast. You might spoil yourself. We'll see you guys in game two.
Ladies and gentlemen, we are back on the action here and we are on Vertigo Bucket. <laughs> We're trying to find the back of a Sid as he flies his way back into the ramp, but he's gonna escape the clutches of death. I am Daniil, also known as Better Smee Brown, joined by Theo, known as the Holy Juan, and let's get right into the action. It's gonna be a 3v1 scenario here for James Madison University post plant situation no not post plant situation they're actually just gonna win the round straight up they're on the defensive and from the look of things and we missed the first uh, that was the first round sorry mm -hmm. so they're gonna be ahead early again winning the first round uh, one frag yet again just on fire this series it seems like getting three picks that round now the full buys are gonna come through for James Madison University as yet again they're gonna look to pull away but this time they're on the defensive end so maybe Saints could be the ones to put on the pressure Absolutely, it's going to be a matter of whether or not we're going to see if they can pull through and succeed in their strategies. The Saints starting off on the T side, like you said, you're going to get what you wished for. Gonna look, we're going to see if we can uh, get the aggression coming out early, and uh, maybe that can help them get their momentum going. But so far, it's not going the way. VT Shocker is going to find two. Patrick's going to take him down eventually, but there's going to be a line of riflemen just waiting behind those boxes to take down the rest of the Saints who are straggling their way onto the point. Going to be another round for James Madison University, unsurprisingly, and we're going to be getting into round round three very very swift round from james madison university is there as i said gonna have an early lead it looks like from again but we saw this last game now is the saints time to strike can they win the third round and get the momentum back in their favor or can james madison continue to extend this lead let's see how things go looks like saints gonna go for a bit of a split push here not gonna all stack on top of one another that one didn't work out for them too well last time adept gonna throw out a flash has that mp9 but look for oh. early swing but it's gonna be Maggie finding the first pick for the saints that's a great entry frag for them but still can't get too confident here as james madison have shown to be so so dangerous. oh and, wow and he's gonna find that pick as well oh. and petro's gonna find that one saints firing on all cylinders now as they have the 5v2 situation don't have the bomb down just yet but this round should should be going in their favor nine times out of ten. Beautifully played by the Saints, finding such excellent shots, finding their marks, and so far it's going the Saints' way. James Madison University working with just two left. They're having an easier round uh, than they probably should be so far. They were kind of fully decked out in the weaponry department, but the Saints are able to just cruise through and just push their way into the points without much resistance. Petro getting a flash out, maybe getting an opening for his teammates, but no bucket, shielded his eyes. Was he able to see Rice? CS yes, clear as day, he's pushing through one frag, gonna find Petro, but Andy taking him down. Uh, it's just gonna be one frag left, but he's gonna find one frag for himself, taking down Andy, it's a 1v2, just in the blink of an eye. I was praising how well the Saints were holding this round down, and now, it's just by the skin of their teeth basically they're winning this one jbh with 15 hp gonna survive the round and gonna take their first one for the saints it's a big round for the saints able to stop the momentum of james madison in their tracks and they're gonna be putting themselves on the board and now a nice round for them just finding those 1v1 picks uh, not something we, we saw from them last game too much because James Madison were just able to have multiple members stacked and take those advantage gunfights. But in the 1v1s, Saints look a lot more comfortable. Let's see. They're going to look for a similar type of play here. Can they find the early entry picks again? You can see. Oh, no. Shotgun there coming out from the side of a bucket but one frag is gonna find two frags they're on to rye and petro that's a great start for james madison university now saints really gonna have to play on top of their game here to get themselves back into this one jba is gonna find one but one frag finding his third of the round putting the team on his back here is a bucket gonna find thing with a shotgun the smoke's gonna go down the shots are surely gonna come out in just a second here you could see andy trying to find one they know that he's in that corner can they find the chance <laughs> looking for some long range slams he does buy enough time for adept to swing off him and get the trade but adept's gonna find the second one as well there as james mass university of the back of some early picks from a one frag gonna take down as well as now they take a 3-1 lead very clean very well done you couldn't really ask for much else if you're james madison university finding success in their next round following up of the loss from the previous saints now left with nothing but pistols to work with not even going to be opting to get armor. They're just probably going to rush this next round. They only have a smoke and a couple, uh, I think it's a 
literally just the smoke in their hands to make this round work, so I can't imagine them playing this one slow. I think they really just want to go for it and make it go hard. Up in the uh, the office building here, seeing if they can find their way. This is a good opportunity to go for either A or B. If you can take control over here, they're going to look to be going over to B side as they get their way through, but Small Rat finds one. The rest of the states are pouring out. Sees basically all of them as the states are now just in a mad dash towards the bomb site, pushing up. Saints are getting loaded down to smoke, and James Madison is going to take this one out without losing a single one. Great crossfire there from James Madison. Saints, they don't have the weaponry to really fight them, so yeah. not much for them to do. They try to go five on one against one, but the fact that Small Red was able to find a pick and get out with his life, then throw out that nade, find a second pick, instantly finishes off the round of St. Clair, just walk through an artillery fire, it seemed like, from James Madison. Everybody was spraying through that smoke, and they're going to take a 4-1 lead here. Yet again, James Madison getting off to that hot start. St. Clair are going to have to turn around things quickly, and they're going to go for a very, very interesting four-man push here through ramps. And that's going to throw out some utility to slow that one down. But one frag going to find the first kill of the round. They're going to find a second through the flash. But finally, Petro shuts him down. But still, getting two picks to slow that push down was crucial for James Madison to win this round. 3v3, and the Saints are finding their footing on the ramp. Going to see if they can try to reignite this push, potentially. But it's a little bit of a lost cause here, if you ask oh, me. But JBH coming around the corner. You can't get riskier than this. You can't get riskier. But JBH comes oh. the corner, but no! Small Rat finds the oh. flick! I really thought that was going to go JBH's way, but proven wrong I am. Petro now going to be going up with Andy, trying to find the way over onto A. They're going to find the bomb, but Amali's going to come out from cross map. What it feels like, oh, but waiting behind the crane is a member of James Madison University, ready to take down Andy as he went for the plant. Not going to be able to find success. Oh, here. Just reload. Reloading, being pushed from all sides here. Just gonna have to find one angle and commit to it. Gonna be able to take down VT Shocker. He had the high ground there, so he prioritized that fight. Gonna see if he can find the next one. Coming around this corner, I think he knows he's here. He's gonna oh, find his mark too. So one v one now. Petro for the ace. Can you take the victory? Bucket waiting for the rain to come, and when it rains, it pours. Petro gonna find the kill. Oh, Get the ace and take the round for the Saints. A beautiful play, cut nonetheless. Well 1v3 done. there from Petro to find the ace, the clutch. That's a huge, huge momentum swing. As now, that's going to give the Saints their second round of the game. Going to give them some money to work with as well. Petro definitely putting the team on his back there, getting the ace. It's a huge, huge play, but still, Saints are a couple rounds behind. Still have to lock in. The fact that you need that kind of hero play means you got to step it up as a team. They're going to push through here again, go for the same type of push. Let's see if one frag is going to be the one to swing out here again. Nasty going to be adapt here. He's going to find one and get out of their life. It feels like James Madison just finding these early frags makes it so hard for the Saints here. The trade comes out there though, and he's, and he's going to find one, but Bucket finds one right back. But Petro is on fire now, finding yet another one. But on the other side of the map, JBH does fall now. 2v3 scenario here for the Saints, but Petro yet again finding yeah. another one tap. They're on to one frag. 2v2 scenario, that one player is trapped in the flames. Oh, does no. go down. 2v1 scenario now for the Saints. Let's see if the clutch can come out here from James Madison now this time. Petro's gonna look for the swing. Will yeah. find the kill. Yes, yet another 3k round four. Petro really turning it up a notch here and putting Saints on his back as they make this a 4-3 game. Very well played by the Saints. They really just took that round by the reins and just ran it through the course. They're not even going to jump over the hurdles, just plowing right through them. Very well done. And that goes to show that when the Saints find an aggressive uh, avenue for success, they really can just run away with a round. But they still have a long road to go to victory. Ten rounds to be exact. James Madison needs nine. It's still a close game and it's still relatively early on. So it's anybody's game so far with the... Pretty sure you can only get up there with the boost, Same. but he's going to have a very good angle to look at, and the Saints are going to be Does none the wiser. Idea? I'd be surprised if they find him at any point. Oh. This, but Miggy! Surprise, surprise, surprise! Surprising everybody there. No more surprise would one frag be to be able to get that headshot off. 
immediately. Very well done. And that's going to allow them to get an opening up. But the bomb is going to get left behind. And they're going to be struggling a little bit to kind of maintain this offensive pressure. They're still delayed just a little bit. But I don't even think they really care about the bomb at this point. They're probably going to be looking for a, a TDM uh, victory for this round. And yeah. Bucket behind all these smokes, holding a 5-7. Not to be underestimated, however, you can cause a lot of damage if you know how to hold that gun and hold it properly while you're spewing forth the flames that comes from it. But JBH finds a flick, gonna be still in this one. The gunfight gonna get lost by the Deagle. The Depth got the jump on him, he's gonna take the win on that. Rai CS is gonna take down Bucket on the other side of the map, however. Rai now holding down the site. Petro, Miggy, and the rest of the Saints are going to be taking down this plant. It's only going to be a couple of seconds to work with here if you're adept. Do you try to make something happen here, or do you just save your gun? Looks like he's going to be making a push, or maybe that scared put the fear of God in him. But no, the worst possible moment, he, uh, I think he threw his pistol or something <laughs> maybe. there, and Fake he's going to go down, but Saints are going to be able to finish him off there. And off the back of one round from Petro, Saints have rallied together as a team. Everyone finding yeah. the right kills at the right time. Petro now 11 and 5 to start off this map. He was 2 and 5, now he's 11 and 5. Nine kills unanswered here from Petro. And doing a great, great job now. Let's see if James Madison can maybe slow down the Saints, but the Saints should try to keep this momentum going. You can see even finding that early first pick in a spot that both of us thought they weren't going to check, they check. Yeah. Just checking corners like that is going to give you those early picks uh, every now and then. As one I get again in a pretty nifty spot there. Going to be waiting for someone from the Saints to walk through. And let's see if JBH has any idea that there could be a player up here. He does. Goes for the swing there, but one frag gets the kill, gets out with his life, and that's another great start for the side of James Madison. Like a push like that, you can only really do comfortably with a flash supporting you. I saw some nades coming up from the Saints. I thought it was a flash. Uh, so I was feeling confident for JBH there, but unfortunately, it's not going to go his way. He's just waiting there, gun barrel pointed right in his face. Because there's very few rounds where no one pushes uh, up mid like that. It's again, it's so critical on this map, especially most mids um, give you access to A and B simultaneously, but very few do it the way that uh, Vertigo does, and I feel like if mid is all the more valuable on this map. But in any case, the Saints are still in this round. It's a 4v4. Regardless, both teams are still going to have to play at their A game to come out on top in this one. The series is tied up 4 to 4 as well. This must mean something. 4v4, it scores 4 to 4, and we were just at 40 seconds when I was mentioning it. I'm, uh, I'm spooked out a little bit. 4 is an unlucky number in some cultures, <laughs> if you didn't know. And let's see how Saints, I mean, uh, Saints play the attack here. One frag gonna find yet another pick onto Rai here as he's gonna single handedly just stop any advancements coming up from the Saints. But they're in on this site. But just like that, Bucket 23 finding three picks on to the Saints. They just didn't check behind them. They don't really have too much time to work with, so they were put in a bit of a rough spot. But just like that, James Madison take the advantage yet against Saints. Still gonna be able to get a couple weapons here, but you could see a couple members just can't afford too much to go their way. So this round's gonna be a hard one to win for the Saints, but if they can take this one home, they could finish this half out strong. Yeah, uh, it's gonna get some deagles on those stragglers as well as maybe any of the pistols, some util. But ultimately, I think uh, you're just gonna be able to get some early pushes out from your cheap guys and then maybe get some cleanup from your expensive guys. Maybe even win the round off of that. But in any case, you're immediately going to lose Andy as he runs up that uh, corridor. Not going to go his way, however. Andy going to be the sacrificial lamb to hopefully open things up for the Saints. But so far, there hasn't been much progress. The Saints actually are, however, going to be able to make their way up ramp. Yeah, past the crane. I'm not sure if they were spotted, however. They got to use this element of surprise to their advantage as best as they can. So they're going to be walking up platform. Now keeping up his way up the ramp. Now Saints trying to find their way onto Site, but they're gonna get mowed down in all due respect from James oh, Madison University. But Rai finds one through the smoke, cheeky one there. Mickey on the left flank here on platform, Bucket still dutifully holding it down, but not even gonna get a chance. Small Rad gonna take Mickey out before he even has a chance to show his face. Rai, last man standing for the Saints, 3v1. We've seen him do it before. Or actually, who was it that got that? Petro. It's Petro. Never mind. <laughs> but so doubly not surprised to see that one uh, go down there. But in any case, James Madison University taking two rounds in a row.
Yep, a James Madison team to get themselves back in the whim column. We've kind of seen streaks from both teams. Uh, you can see Saints won three in a row there, but struggling in these past few rounds. Uh, they really need uh, someone else to really pick up on the kills because Petro is at 12, but everyone else is at four or less. So team just as overall has to step it up here to compete with a James Madison University here as yet again Saints can look to start off strong here but Saints just struggling on the attack James Madison actually gonna have an operator as well here on this defensive side really going all out to make sure they don't lose this round but Saints are on a yet another scuff to buy they don't really have those full buys yet again so James Madison are looking good to take their seventh round of the half and and this half off strong yeah but while you're trying to find your way onto a point, you really have to make sure that you're not opening yourself up to vulnerable situations because one push means that you have a huge exposure to your back. You know, you have to make sure you're looking at all places when you're on T side when you're pushing up. But the Saints are going to be pushing up on to B. They find some success to get the kill. And oh my up, but no! Just fumbling things a little bit there. It's going to open them up to, like I said, some vulnerable moments and they're gonna go down for it James Madison up seven to four last round of the half Saints are gonna have to bring their a game here yeah you know James Madison also gonna have at least one up air saw adept picking that one up so gonna make pushing through for Saints so much a harder but if they can win this round make it seven five it is without a doubt in uh, in reach a reachable distance for them to come back and win this map but they're gonna go on the attack and go try and go up wrap again one try gonna take a bit of early damage and no scope looked like from adept there but a quick push from the saints catches them off guard looks like andy's on one hp with this operator but we'll be able to stay alive which is crucial there as saints look to get some control here of this a site but the bomb is still down bucket gonna go for a swing there now gets a lot of information with that one making sure that nobody's on the site just yet one frag with a cheeky flash spot will go for something there but bucket will go down one frag though gonna find a couple gonna oh look for the my. third uh, but Rai is able to take him down there now 3v2 situation for the saints they oh, 2v2 situation for the saints i apologize both teams with a couple members alive bomb still down one though last. but jbh gonna find a pick there is now saints do have the 3v1 situation. Bomb gonna move over towards that B site. The plant should be going down. This should be very, very hard to win for Small Red. Does find one, thinks they're back over towards that A site. But now the plant will go down onto B site. Let's see if they can maybe force out a flash. He's still towards this B site. I'm very confused by Small Red's decision making here. But now he realizes he has to make his way over towards his B site and has to win a couple crucial gunfights to win this round for James Madison University. Saints though, putting themselves in a beautiful scenario here. Have the bomb down and Andy is going to find the last kill of the round. There's 7-5 half for the Saints considering all things could be much worse and puts this game within hand's reach. I feel like I don't ever even see any of the other Saints holding the op. It's always Andy and it's always a privilege to see him wield that beast of a gun. A couple of, a couple of extra purchases here coming out for uh, the Saints as well as James Madison University coming into this pistol round. They're, 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 strapped, they're strapped to the teeth it seems. Everyone's kind of buying something here and hopefully we're going to see the fruits of their success come to fruition here and uh, we're gonna see if this pistol round goes either way as again winning pistol round is a huge deal you can really get the momentum pushing up for you but bucket you're gonna find jbh that's gonna be the first kill in this pistol round it's gonna be making things a lot easier for james mazman that's just gonna find the return trades coming out bt shocker finding two mickey almost getting one but no bucket's gonna take him down now it's just Petro, and uh, he's gonna be in this still, fighting for his life, fighting the second as he climbs up. It was a bit of a, he was just swinging frantically there, and he, he found a couple of chins, but he's ultimately gonna get knocked out himself. It's five and eight, James Madison University is still on a tear. Yeah, James Madison looking very, very strong on these attacking rounds. They just push in as a team and take the rounds very, very swiftly. Now they're gonna have the weapons to back up their play style. Take an 8-5 lead, should be taking this round as well, but maybe Saints can pull off a miracle save round here and win this one out and really put themselves in a good position to bring this one back. Let's see how this round get underway. Buckets is gonna run into five here around this corner. Does find one. Does he know there's one right around the corner? Yes, finds the second. 
Gonna look to find a third. Yes, does find it, but the trades are gonna come out from one frag. Very, very quick round coming out from James Madison University. Is in just a blink of an eye, they take a 9-5 lead and put themselves that much closer to taking the series. Yeah, and it's... it's... I can't blame anyone for feeling like James Madison University is running away with this one, but realistically, the Saints are still really close behind. Again, losing the pistol round, uh, you're basically guaranteed to lose the follow-up round, so not even losing that one isn't much of an indicator that things are going wrong for the Saints. That round really doesn't even exist. So we're kind of coming back after the pistol round just now, and it's a 5-9 gap. The Saints really still have a chance to kind of come back from the brink here. James Madison University, Four away from winning this one. Saints four away from tying. It's still anybody's game, but as this mid push comes out, the Saints are trying to hold it down, just spraying through the smoke a little bit and coming up the platform. Reloading, however, it's not going to be able to finish in time. Andy's going to fall. He can't even defend himself. And like I said, uh, James Madison, they're getting their aggression underway. And I feel like that's kind of the key to success in a lot of Counter Strike. Once you're going through a little momentum, it's really easy to kind of sweep the game going forward. And I'll tell you as much, you know, going 6-0 in my last game, and then I died once, and I basically never got a kill again. So, aye, aye, aye. It's, it's hard to recover, but if Saints won't have a chance of winning this one, they're gonna have to figure out how. Yeah, I mean, this can be a rough 2v5. It looks like they're just conceding this round. They know it's gonna be an impossible one to win, and they're gonna take their chances in the next one. Let's see if the side of James Madison really decides to push the aggression here and find these final two kills. If they do, that could be all she wrote for the map because the really? Saints desperately need these weapons and to find kills with them. But it looks like James Madison will leave those last two alone. They'll take the 10th round of the game and they put themselves in a prime position to take the series. Right. Now we're heading into round 16 here. St. Clair College, 5 and 10. We were in a very similar situation, I feel like, with, on the previous map. I could be mistaken, but this scoreline feels comfortable and familiar, like looking at a nice, cozy fireplace. I've been here before, for sure, and still have the Saints, but under different circumstances. They weren't fighting for their lives in the previous one, but they are now, so they're going to have to get used to this feeling and keep playing regardless, because it's going to matter so much, fighting in for their chance to stay through in Nace, a death, and James Madison University making a push up through ramp. The Saints are going to have some rotations coming through as well. A little bit of a half by some have done, some don't, but spraying through the smoke, so the JBH, or sorry, James Madison University fights too. The Saints are going to find some return kills, but ultimately they're going to lose more and more until it's just one left. Rye, the last man standing for the Saints, and he is going to be the lone wolf. It's the end of Halo Reach. The mission objective, survive. He's gonna try his damnedest to do so though. Cross this field here, oh. but... Oh, trigger, trigger discipline. discipline. I'll find at least a couple. Beautiful, here. Rai, beautiful. I would not have done, I would have gone for the knife immediately. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> so much respect for Rai after that, because God knows I would have tried to knife that guy, but I'm mean, coming up now. It's winnable. It's, it's still very winnable, you one, know. We've two. seen it, we've already seen one comeback ace. So this, he's still got full HP, he's still got full armor, no helmet, but... One of the members from James Madison was on one HP, so let's True. see if Rai can maybe win a clutch here as well. Saints much in needing the 1v4 here from Rai. Oh, it's gonna tell. take a miracle though. Gonna walk straight through the smoke. Very aggressive play oh. here as one frag is looking at the perfect spot. That's gonna give you another round to James Madison. And they have put themselves in a very, very good position here to win out this series. 11-5, looking very, very strong here in the second map. Walking through smokes is always a bit of a gamble. Because one, no one expects it, so that's why it works. So you just have to hope that they're not looking at the smoke before you get out of it. That really is the gamble you're making. Because otherwise, if you are and you're walking, because obviously you don't want to make noise, then they kind of just like see your whole body before <laughs> you really get your way out of there. So walking through smokes is Always a bit of a risk. He took the risk there. I respect it. Not going to go his way, however. He had some util there. I understand why he didn't want to use it because it would have given his way his position, most likely. Oh, see where he's coming from. But Petro almost finding a critical kill, but going to get taken down by one frag. Now, Saints making some rotations out now. Nades coming through. Rai going to take a huge hit of damage. A smoke's going to come by as well, but Adept's going to find Rai. JBH is going to go down too. And the pressure's flawless mounting. Round. The flawless round going into to potentially the last one the Saints are not gonna like the look of this one and they don't have a lot of money to work with either so 
things are looking scary, but can they dig within themselves to make this one work? Yeah, I mean, Saints just kind of falling apart here in these last moments. And James Madison have really put the pressure on them and have not let go of the gas pedal the entire time, but it's still possible. We saw last last map, Saints were in the exact same scenario, down 12-5, brought back three rounds in a row, and maybe they could do the same here. Rai is going to get that early pick, so some signs of a hope here for our Saints. The swing is going to come through there from a JBH. Does get tapped a couple times, but will be able to make it out alive. Let's see how the rest of this is going to go. There's going to be a smoke coming out from Andy. He's going to walk through there. It's a very, very dangerous challenge to take, though. It looks like James and Madison have an operator as well. And they're going to look to push up here. But Andy's going to find a pick onto one frag. A great start here for the Saints. They're up a couple members. This one you have to close out if you're the Saints. Petro going to look for something, but won't be able to find anything there. As Maggie's going to find his th uh, third cover around there. Adept does find the trade, but you would think that with all of these number advantages, would move in for the Saints. That was a very close corner kill with the operator. Might have been an O scope there coming out from Bucket, but a beautiful flank here from Rai. Can he find the O player with it? Gonna go right around the corner. GBA is gonna find Adept, and it's gonna be all on Bucket. Rai in a beautiful flank position. Just has to walk up those stairs. Will be able to pick him up, but has no idea where he is. A little bit of cat and mouse play. Bucket in the 1v3 with the O player. Gonna be very, very hard. If he can find this pick, though, maybe that's gonna be the key to victory here, but GBA is gonna pick that one up. Saints getting one back. I'm sorry for screaming, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Those moments are so tense. You got, like, something builds up in you. And sometimes it, it just it escapes, but a very tense situation indeed. Uh, ops are going to be held in the hand of the Saints. It all comes down to this one. And if it doesn't all come down to this one, it's going to come down to the next one, and then the next one, and the next one. Because the Saints have to play perfectly. They are one game away from losing their Nace run. They really want to make sure that they're playing at their 100% here. And that they're going to try their best for as they're going to be looking to hold down this defense strong. They don't want to let anything slip by them here. Ops are going to be watching certain corridors. Bucket is going to be holding down uh, this little office spot here across the area. If any of the Saints try to get aggressive, he's going to be able to pick them off. He's going to get a little aggressive himself. And he's going to find the kill onto him. Not going to be able to get any further through his a little aggressive play there. JBH going to be on a site with one of his teammates and I feel like James Madison University close by looking at the ramp there trying to maybe go up a little bit of a pre-fire giving away their position but I don't think they really mind too much flash coming out just to maybe give the Saints a little bit of breathing room Molly in the hand of Adept seeing if he can get anybody out of that corner if they're sitting there coming up through scaffolding oh, buckets are falling <laughs> I think that might have been the result of a nade potentially but taking a little bit of a hit through the wall there but two are going to go down as a trade JBH and uh, Miggy's going to find one as well Miggy coming on the corner oh. adept finds it nice. beautifully done it's going to be one more one kill closer to victory here for the Saints but they have to maintain their composure and they can't let go here smoke's going to go down BT shocker trying to find his way up on the Site here, flash Molly, or sorry, there's another Molly gonna come out. The Saints are kind of oh, kind of hurting him. Yeah, Maroon, he's gonna have to run across there to safety. But Pesha's gonna find one frag as he crosses the barrier there. No man's land. <coughs> DT Shocker, the last man standing for James Madison, but he's gonna look to save, I believe. Might be uh, economically wounded here, and they're going to be trying their best to kind of make sure their next one goes right. I'm getting a bit of deja vu here from a last map. This is looking like it's going to the exact same way. Hopefully the Saints can pull off the comeback here. We would love to see that as it's going to be 12 to 7 for James Madison. They still can afford the fall by Saints. I think going to be able to afford some weaponry as well. They're going to have one player with an MP9, but two operators <laughs> look like no, they're going to opt out for one of those and a couple M4s there. So Saints actually going to go for all rifles with one operator. It's going to be a very, very interesting round to see. Let's see if Saints can withhold James and Madison University's pressure here. The flash has come out. All of the utility from both sides going to be dropped on here. It's going to be a rush coming out from James Madison University. They want to finish this one quickly, but they have to check their corners on the on the entry. JBH in a beautiful position alongside Miggy watching his back, making sure that nobody can flank behind. Petro also here going to have to find some big.
big, big shots, but look at the screen. So many smokes, so much utility coming out from James Madison University. They're gonna look to push through here. A flash comes out as well. There's gonna be three players now stacked on top of each other for the Saints. Adept's gonna find the first bucket, find the second, one frag, finding the third, and the plant's gonna go down for James Madison University, as this should more than likely do it. 5v2 situation, post blast situation. St. Clair College on their last legs. Can they pull something out here? They're gonna throw out a couple flashes, a couple of mollies. Maybe just throw a smoke on the bomb and start defusing. Hope for the best. That might be the play here. I think that's the play they might be going for. They're gonna look for some early swings. Woo! They're gonna find one. Rise able to get, get that one. Starting the defuse. Gets the oh, tap, but that's gonna be right. all she wrote. A small red and one frag. Find the final two kills. James Madison win the second map 13-7 and win the series 2-0. What a beautiful play coming up from Jason Madison University. It's moments like that where it's so close, it's so daring, it's so interesting. Didn't go their way, of course, but what if? Would have been absolutely legendary, you know. What a great game coming out from both teams. 2-0 going the way of James Madison University. And the Saints fought tooth and nail to try to make sure that they could stick through it. Yeah, without a doubt. But that's going to be all there is for us today. Let's go through a quick recap of the day. Earlier on, we had Rockley. We had our Saints taking on University of Miss. Missouri, I think, I think Missouri, right? Missouri. Yeah, University of Missouri. Mississippi. That was a, Mississippi. That was a very close series. The Saints were able to take the first two games, but then lost four in a row in a very, very thrilling game of Rocket League. So uh, they're, they're going to be out of the tournament there. And we just saw our Saints, unfortunately, dropping two games here to Madison University. It was a great a performance from them. A nice try, but... That's going to be all she wrote. Absolutely, Theo. But, of course, it wouldn't be a Saints game if we didn't shout out our sponsors. Of you course. Know, Tim Hortons, HyperX, Subway, St. Clair College Alumni Association, and St. Clair College so SRC. So, thank you for making our streams possible. And thank you for watching, of course. And thank you, Saturday, for having a lot of action <laughs> lined up for us. I believe we have uh, League of Legends, Call of Duty, and Overwatch. Yeah. We have a little bit of a morning thing and evening thing going on. So, it's going to be an all-day ordeal but it's going to be an enjoyable one yeah. nonetheless so we hope to see you all there so ladies and gentlemen of course if Can't you want to stay tuned with all of our <laughs> action the social media for the saints you know we're on twitter it's probably our most active platform where you can see all the most updates but of course if you can think of a social media platform we're on there as well so you want to follow us on all of those saints gaming ca on basically all platforms and on twitter of course or saints academy ca as well so you want to follow all those up to stick tuned with all of our updates but theo I think that about wraps us up today. Yeah, I mean, thank you guys for watching. It's been an exciting day of Saints action. And we'll be seeing you tomorrow here at 1 p.m. See you guys. Have a good night.